is said by uh, the early Spaniards that as they observed the work that the people of Mesoamerica did, they found it hard to believe that they could make such beautiful and interesting uh, objects with such primitive technology. And they must have uh, built things well to have these large pyramids, large temples and so on, standing after 2,000 years. One of the things that we learn from the Book of Mormon is that when Nephi builds a temple in the pattern of uh, the Solomonic Temple in Jerusalem, he teaches his people all kinds of crafts, uh, metallurgy, stone cutting, and the Maya are famous for the magnificent, fine way of cutting stone and building their walls of various structures, secular and sacred. They had some work in metal, not much. Uh, the only references in the Book of Mormon, with one exception, I think, to metal is that it is precious and was used as decoration. One of the things that was a very early connection uh, is Nephi's ability to work with metal. And apparently Nephi was able to teach them something about metalworking. It would not be surprising if something about metalworking became a trade secret for these people and some reason for them to be able to have some trade goods and ways to be able to make things that somebody else would want. The problem with that is that it's very difficult to find information on metallurgy that early, which means that it's probably something that was kept again as a trade secret, something that they did not want other people to know. Would have also happened as manufactured goods rather than raw materials. Certainly that would explain if, if there is a technology that someone doesn't want anyone to know about, um, it is possible that that will die out because they are keeping it secret and not allowing other people to know about it. There are technologies from the ancient world that we know existed, but we don't know how they did them. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the fire. What's the Greek fire? Uh, Greek fire was one of those technologies of the ancient world where it was a weapon that was used, and we really don't know a lot about what it was or what the technology was that created it. But apparently in the ancient world, they had something very much like a flamethrower, and we don't know how they did that. It was a technology that was a military technology in that case, but they made sure they kept it secret. If you read the Book of Mormon carefully, you'll notice that even though Nephi has a sort of Laban, which is precious steel, and has some knowledge of how to make some kind of steel, uh, steel is never mentioned after the time of Jerem in the Book of Mormon. And uh, that, what does that indicate? Uh, it's interesting, too, if you note that iron is not mentioned after the time of King Noah. Later they mention gold and, and silver, but iron is not mentioned. Not everybody is a metallurgist, and not everybody is a sword maker. And so if you lose all your sword makers and their apprentices in a war, you just use what they left you until you can't use it anymore and then you go back to the lithic technology to the stone technology that everybody else around you had even before the times of lehi what this suggests to me is that you may have a situation uh, in the book of mormon among book of mormon people where certain metal technologies were lost over time for years all archaeologists maintained that there were no metals at all used until after Book of Mormon times. That's not quite true. There have been objects found over the years that do date back into the Book of Mormon period, enough to show that metals were there, 